Okay, imagine this. A little boy on the playground pushes his classmate off of the slide, and the classmate has to go to the nurse because they're hurt. So, the teacher comes up to the comes up to the little boy and says, "Hey, you're not allowed to do that. That's against the rules. You can't be doing that. You shouldn't do that because it hurts him." And so, as his punishment, the teacher drags him up the playground to the top of the slide, and just like the little boy did to his classmate, pushes him off the slide. So the little boy has to go to the nurse as well. Now, what should happen to this teacher now that she did the same thing that the little boy did to his <coughs> classmate? Should she be suspended? Or should she be fired for abusing a student? Well, no, because it's justified. Well, in the real world anyway, it's justified in the law system, such as the death penalty. And so, of course, this scenario makes absolutely no sense in the school spectrum, and that would never happen. And yet, in the law system, that happens multiple times a year. And I'm going to go over how the death penalty is irreversible, it's hypocritical and just morally wrong, and is against what we are taught, as well as it being overall expensive. And so, the opposing side of things says that the death penalty, or putting someone in prison for a life sentence, is overall expensive. And it's more expensive than the death penalty because you're paying for a criminal and a murderer to live their life in prison. Now, this is not the case, even though many people believe this is not the case. The death penalty is more expensive than a life sentence. The death penalty costs $1.26 million for a death penalty case rather than a general population case that only costs $740,000. And that is not even including the housing of someone that is on death row, costs $90,000 more than a general pop population housing. And for people on death row, it's usually, on average, about 15 years long, and so it adds up to being a million dollars more. And according to NBC News, Donald McCartan said, that it's 10 times more expensive to kill them than to keep them alive. Donald McCartan was a former California jurist who was also known as the hanging judge of Orange County, and he put nine men on death row. And now, I wanna make this clear that death is permanent and irreversible, and no matter what, there is never a 100%, and usually in the real world, there's never a 100% chance that this person did this crime. And ever since 1973, it also, there has been 166 exonerations. And an exoneration is when someone is put on death row and then later found out that they are innocent and they are taken off. 166 is crazy, and that's not even including the people that actually were killed and were later proven innocent, just like this man, Brian Terrell. Now, Brian, according to the Death Penalty Information Center, Brian Terrell had killed his mother's closest friend, John Watson. He shot him multiple times and then beat him to death and left him to die in the dirt. And even though the footprints around, Brian, around John Watson were too small to be Terrell's feet, as well as the 13 fingerprints around the site, none of them belonged to Brian Terrell. But the main testimony was that of his cousin, Jermaine, a witness, who, set, who at the time was also on death row for a different reason. And the prosecutors said, if you testify against your cousin, you're, you are going to get reduced to five years in prison instead. And so... In 2015, at 12.52 a.m., Brian Terrell was put to death on the death penalty. And much later on, Jermaine, his cousin, said to, a def to the defense attorney that he lied about it. And he said that he was just a scared 18-year-old boy that didn't want to die. And so he testified against his own cousin because he didn't want to be put to death just like his cousin was. And so, 
Um, the death penalty is also, there is no doubt that there are some terrible people in this world. And I know that, and everybody knows that. There are terrible people in this world that kill people and do these horrible things. And yes, they deserve to be punished, but they don't deserve to be put to death. The whole system doesn't make sense to me. And you think about it this way, you killed somebody. And so because of that, and because that is against the law, I'm going to kill you. But it's gonna, but it's okay because in a few hours after I kill you, I get to go home to my family and I get to go have a nice dinner with them because I'm a part of the government. So that was, that was legal. That was okay for me to end your life because you ended someone else's life. It just doesn't seem to make sense to me. And that's what this man did for 17 years. In, uh, he was a U.S. chief executioner of Virginia, and he ended 62 lives. This man is Jerry Givens. Now, according to Glenda James, he... He said to her that the electric chair was just a push of the button. And then, but the actual syringe of the lethal injection was quite harder to do because you could see the chemical emptying out into their body and slowly killing them. It seemed to be more personal. Now, this doesn't seem very justified because at a young age, we are taught to be, to be that bigger person and not stooped down to their level. And yet the law says that we that if we kill somebody or if we do a certain bad thing that this stuff is going to happen to us and we're gonna if we do if we kill somebody sorry if we kill somebody they can kill us right back it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense and as I recap the death penalty is overall it's irreversible and it could happen to any any one of you being, you could be put on death row, be completely innocent, still be killed. And then it's also hypocritical, not morally right, as well as um, expensive. And that little boy at the beginning of this speech, he was put into timeout for what he did. And that middle schooler who was caught vaping in the bathroom was given detention. And that worker who wrongfully did their job was put on probation. And that criminal that may or may not have may or may not have committed the crime should be sentenced to time in prison. Thank you.